Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to cover PrestaShop localization. In other words, what localization does is it actually lets you create a uh, site that's actually available in multiple languages and currencies. For example, here you can see that I have English and I also have Portuguese and I also have dollar as the currency as well as real. And note that you can actually disable certain uh, languages and certain currencies. So this is uh, actually very easy to work with. And what's nice about it is that Presta Shop actually translates your store to the given language. For example, it actually translates in Portuguese all your uh, your whole site and for products and for categories you can actually add the version for the other language. And I'll show you how you can do all this. So to start, simply go to your admin panel and then go to localization and then click on localization over here. And then simply download the localization pack that you need. For example, I downloaded Brazil. And then simply select which content to download. For example, I downloaded states, taxes, currencies, languages, units. And I also ticked off change the behavior of the taxes uh, displayed to the groups. This is of course up to you. And you can uh, download the pack and that would be yes. And then simply click on import like so. And then here you can choose your default language. If you have multiple languages, you can choose which is the default. And same goes for the country. You can choose the default country. And you can choose the default currency and the time zone as well. And you can enter in local units. As you can see here, I have uh, kilograms, kilometers, liters, and centimeters. You can, of course, change this if you're in the U.S. to pounds, miles, gallons, and inches. And of course, for the language identifier, you can change it to what you prefer. So now if we wanted to change the default language to Portuguese, we would just change it to Portuguese here, and we would change the country to Brazil as well. And we would change the dollar to real. And we would change the time zone to Brazil. And we would click on save. And now when we go back home, As you can see, we have uh, Portuguese as the default. And now if we were to go back to localization and languages here, we can even remove English and make Portuguese the main language. So when we go back to our site, we would have Portuguese as our main language. Now we can re-enable English like so. And now we have English available here in the drop down once again. And we can go back to localization and localization here. And we can change this information as well. Like so. Like so. And we click on save. And now we have English as a default. Note that I'm actually going to go to English first so that the changes take effect. For some reason, this is how this works. And the reason I had to do that to actually uh, change it to English from here is because if I want to disable Brazil, because in order for the menu back in the admin panel to go back to English, I actually have to disable Brazil. And see, it goes back to English. And now when I go here, my whole site is back in English. And now if I were to re-enable Brazil, it would be back here. And as you can see, I'm redirected again to the forward slash en forward slash subdirectory. So now if I go back to localization and I have zones here, and here I can choose which zones I want to leave and which zones I don't want to leave. So right now I have all of these zones enabled. I can of course disable some of them and I can even add more zones like so. And then I can go to countries here and I can choose which countries are enabled. Since I uh, downloaded the Brazil pack, it's actually there and I can just choose enabled here to see it and click on search. And as you can see, I have United States and Brazil enabled. 
and now I can reset this and these are the only two countries that I have enabled currently and for states I have uh, both uh, United States and Brazil see if I go to Brazil here and I click on search I can see all the states for Brazil and now I'll reset and now when I go back to localization I have currencies so of course as I showed you earlier you can actually specify a default language and you can uh, disable another language for example I uh, specified Portuguese as the default and I disabled English and if I were to do that then I would also need to disable the dollar because my real would be the main currency the default currency and I can do this here for example I can disable dollar and that would work right now I can't actually disable dollar because dollar is a default currency but if I were to set real as a default currency I can then disable dollar and as for taxes you also have your taxes here and you have it for the US and then back here you also have it for Brazil and you can of course add more taxes uh, with the add button right here and then for tax rules you have that here as well and for translations this is actually really cool because you can actually translate your theme uh, the default PrestaShop uh, text to whatever you prefer for example you can choose which section you want to uh, translate for example you can translate the front office back office error messages whatever and then you can choose the language that you want to translate and you can click on modify for example if you find any spelling errors or if you'd like to change the grammar of the spelling you can always come here and you can do all of that in one shot and then you can also change uh, the names of your pages for example if we were to go to CMS here and we were to edit a page we can specify for each page the translated version for the other language for example if I were to choose Portuguese I can enter in the name in, uh, in Portuguese here 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 and here and same goes for listing an item if you were to actually list the product and let's say we edit this product here and we were to change this to Portuguese we can enter in the Portuguese text here and we can translate the title as well in Portuguese and then right here all of this will be translated as well so you can have both languages specified uh, individually so as you can see this is very flexible and it's great for working with multiple languages and multiple countries and currencies and all of that so I hope this basically gives you a better understanding of localization and press the shop so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com